Kelly here. Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me today. Today I have another book to share with you guys. Um, it is a book that has been sent to me by the publisher Lomart as a pre-release copy. It's Nature's Magic by Stratton Peterson. Um, this is, I think, the second book by this artist. The first book was Mystic Animals, which was seemed to be quite a popular book but um, amongst the colorists um, and the artwork is beautiful. I don't have that book yet. It is on my wish list, but I have so many books on animals at the moment. So I didn't really get that book, but this one was a, quite up my alley, I think, with the it's a coloring book of healing plants and remedies. So I thought there would be a lot of, you know, flowers and plants and um, bottles and things like that. So something I'd like. Um, and I like the art style. I love the beautiful flowers and stuff. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. But yeah, so this was right up my alley. Like I said, it's called Nature's Magic. Um, it's published by Loam Art. Yeah, which is the same publisher as um, Kirby Roseanne's books and Malpomeni Chatsi Panagitu's books. And I have uh, Malpomeni's book right here just to show you the size of this Nature's Magic book. So... Malcolm Ennis and Kirby Roseanne's books are sort of the similar, same size. Um, so this Nature's Magic is a little bit longer than it and narrower. It's sort of like an A4, but to me it looks a little bit longer than an A4 size. Um, is this? Oh, this is an A4 paper. Oh, actually, it's shorter than an A4 size. There we go. So I have a page right here that's A4. So it's a little bit shorter than an A4. All right, um, so yeah, that's the size. That's the front cover, beautiful. And the back cover, which is also beautiful. And I'll get into the book and just show you what, what it is inside. So like I said, it's a book of healing plants and remedies. So um, it's gonna be like potions and things like that, which will be really nice. Um, so this is the front front cover, the same illustration. You have the introduction page and the publishing details page. Lots of nice stuff to colour there, which I come, I think comes later on in the book as well. And then we get into the book. And like I said, it is sort of like healing remedies and things like that from the past. Maybe some people still use them in the present. Um, and so you do get a little bit of information about that, which is quite nice because it does tell us... Um, the, what plants are in it so it could help with uh, your coloring if you do wish to do it the same as what the real plants are so here for example um, I was just trying to read it at that point was basically a snake wrapping itself around elements of the one of the earliest incarnations of heroic so thyme sweet myrrh aniseed fennel and parsley so you could research those if you wanted look them up see what colors um you know, the, the plants are and you can use those colours to inspire you for the page. Um, or you could just do it however you want. But yes, we do have a little bit of information about each um, remedy on the other side. So effectively, it is a one-sided book. So if you are someone who uses alcohol markers, you can go ahead and use alcohol markers if you're not worried about what's written there. And these are such beautiful plants, the way they're drawn, which is why I was quite keen on this book. Um, have a little nice cup and saucer there. Sleeping portion. It is stitch band. All right. And it's a white, bright white paper and sort of thin, a sort of thin to medium um, thickness of paper. So it's the same. Um, it's the same paper as is in um, these books. So, um, yeah, so it's the same as Enchanted Earth by Mel Pumeni. So good quality paper. Yes, it's a little bit thin, but I've used watercolor pencils in my um, Enchanted Earth, Earth book. I've used my Tombow Jewel brush pens and it's worked really well. So still decent paper to color on. Nice paper. Yeah, so each of these pages basically has, um, yeah, lots of plants, lots of flowers, some bottles. And so it was sort of up my alley, basically. 
Um, I like that they're framed as well. I do like that they have that little blurb on the side there because for certain pages, I may want to look it up and try and do it more realistic. For certain pages, I might just go ahead and do whatever I want. Uh, but at least I have that option to look it up because I'm really bad with identifying um, flowers and plants and animals for that matter. Um, so it's nice that it tells us. So for example, it's told me here it's a blackbird, so I can look it up if I wanted to. I didn't know it was a blackbird. So basically, that's it's really good. Um, that's nice. You get some pages which do have a little bit of black background, which helps. Look at those flowers. They're drawn so beautifully, don't you think? And yeah, I think you can use, yes, um, watercolour paints, you may have to use sparingly. You'll have to be careful with the amount of water you're putting. But other than that, you can use whatever you want because it is a one-sided book, which is nice. Again, a bottle. I like that. Turmeric. Really nice. I really like how the flowers and all are drawn. Remedy for tired eyes. I should read that. <laughs> By the end of the day, my eyes are so tired, so dry. <laughs> that looks like aloe vera to me, is it? I won't waste time reading, but... Yeah. Yeah, it is aloe vera. That looks a little bit more autumnal, acorn. That's really nice. Prosperity tea. See, I just, I, it's beautiful. And then you do have pages where there are some fruits. So there is berries and stuff like that. I don't know if you guys, um, in one of my colour alongs uh, recently, I mentioned that it's been so long since I've coloured, you know, fruits realistically and stuff. So these, these pages, some of them do have fruits, so that will be really good. I really like this bottle and I love the way the flowers are drawn around it. Sunshine scent. Ooh, that'll be really nice and bright, isn't it? Well, if I colour it, definitely it'll be bright. That's nice. So you do also have some animals to colour, um, so like the birds, the snakes, some insects. What bird is that? Cuckoos? Yeah. Some cherries there, wild cherries, that would be nice. A mushroom page for all the mushroom lovers out there. A lot of mushrooms for you to colour. Blackberry Bramble. That's nice. I really like this page. Yeah, I really like this page. The mice, the berries. Once I put colour, I would want to see what the background looks like, whether I would want to go over it to make it even more intense, the black. This is really nice. So you have a ocean remedy, so water theme, which is really nice. So it gives you different options. So it's not just, you know, flowers and plants. You do have other elements to color. Um, I'm going to assume these are lemons, not lime. Um, I don't want to read all of them right now. Apples. That's nice. That looks like ginger to me. Again, maybe lemon or orange, orange peels. That's a nice bottle, look at that. Heart-shaped bottle, you have bees, the flowers are beautiful. Beautiful. I just love the combination of how the flowers are drawn with these bottles and stuff. And they're all sort of different shaped bottles, like look at that one. That one's a heart shaped, and then we saw that other one earlier. So it's really nice. Um, it's challenging coloring bottles, but um, it would be nice to try, try and practice different shaped bottles. We have more bottles there. This is soap. Very interesting. Good luck charm. 
Beautiful. That's nice. Soothing almond. I've never coloured almonds. That looks like it should be a cream or something. That will be interesting to colour. Lovely. Beautiful. I really do like the art style. I really do like how the flowers and all have been drawn. It's a bit different, again, for what I have in my collection. Because I don't have the first book. So, yeah, it is a little bit different to what I have. Mo? Well, yeah. Interesting. Again, there's elements that I've probably never coloured, which will be really nice. That looks like it would be more... Uh, wintry so you do haven't we came across an autumn page we have a wintry page we have some water theme page for summary so that's really good beautiful that would look lovely colored all those different flowers there cinnamon that's a what do you call them? The little magic balls, not magic balls, not a snowball, but you know what I'm talking about, right? It's not coming to my mind. But you know what I mean, hopefully. Acacia ball, um, kiwi, strawberries. What are those? Are they figs or something maybe? I don't know. But yeah, beautiful. And I love, this is the border that was there for the page for the publishing details. I love that border. Mm, for all the cat lovers out there, this one will be a challenging one for me. Um, but yeah, like I said, you do have different elements to colour in this book. Beautiful. Moths, bees. Toothache tonic. I'm going to have to read that one. Find out if it is true. <laughs> Interesting. What birds are these? Hmm. Black naped oriole. Oriole. Interesting. I've never heard about some of these birds. Not a snake. For those of you who don't like snakes, there are two in this book. I'm yet to colour a snake, I think, in my colouring books, but I don't mind colouring them. I don't like them in real life. I wouldn't want to get anywhere near them, but I think in books I wouldn't mind colouring them. Lots of strawberries to colour here and berries. This will be nice again. Beautiful. Wow. <laughs> what do we have here? We have apples. Uh, chili. Ginger, honey, honeycomb. What else is there? That looks like an onion to me, but I don't know. Onion? So yeah, lots to, lots to learn to colour there or practice. Beautiful. Look at the border. It's quite intricate. I'd have to think about how I'm going to do that. That would be nice to colour. Beautiful. Is that going to be like honey? Maybe coloured. This will be nice and colourful. I really like it. And that's, I think that might be the same bottle as we'd seen earlier. So that's the last page. So yeah, a lovely, lovely book. Um, I think it's very different to what I have in my collection. I know I have books with flowers and animals, but the style is different. Um, and I am looking forward to colouring in it. Um, what do you guys think? Let me know. Um, everyone has, you know, it's it's subjective. Everyone has their own opinion about what they like and what they don't like. So, but I'm I'm glad I have this in my collection. It'll be nice. It'll be nice to colour this. Um, I'm just looking for a page where you could test your mediums. Maybe something like this page you could use to test your mediums because you're not too worried about that page. Um, or if you want it, I, I hate doing it on my front page because as soon as you open the book, that's what you see. So I 
tend to look for something else and I don't like doing it on this page because if things bleed through then it's on my front page so usually I try and look for a page somewhere else so I don't think this one's a bad one to try um, try out your mediums on but like I said the paper seems the same as Malcolm Ennie's book so I'm sure I'll be okay with it because I have coloured in that book and my, my, my mediums which are very limited to my Arbitura pencils which are watercolour pencils they work beautifully um, so I'm sure it'll work beautifully in this book too but yeah there we go that's nature's magic by stratton peterson let me know what you guys think and did you guys get the first book i think i may eventually get the first book but not yet i think i'm going to color in this one first because i find it beautiful um but yeah i'll be back with you guys soon um until then take care thank you for watching and see you next time Bye bye